So I'm going to start working on the cockpit. Um, and the cockpit comes like this. Big old thing. Mine I received, it was all broken in all sorts of places. You can see I fixed, tried to fix it. But it still needs more work. I also added some fiberglass on the bottom just to reinforce some of these parts because as you can see it was just cracked all the way through and on the front even though I'm gonna have to trim it but I figured I should just add support while I can so if you try to stick this in the jet it doesn't quite work right it's too big and so it needs to be trimmed so what I'm gonna do is I have a piece of Depron that I am going to use to sort of create a template of this front area and see if I can transfer that onto the front uh, area of the cockpit. So I'll do that and then we'll see how that turns out. I've got the template of the top of my aircraft. So I basically took this guy, inserted it in here, drew an outline, obviously it was much, much smaller, much slightly larger piece. Drew that outline, cut it, and checked that it fit as best as it could, and it does. And so I know that this is the bulkhead that's in in there. So this guy right here, and so um, the cockpit I'm thinking is gonna go and fit all the way to that bulkhead, and probably back as far as it gets so I just basically placed this on top as accurately as I as I could basically this is gonna be at the bulkhead um, and I just used my silver sharpie to trace around it so I made these a little bit larger so these markings are slightly wider um, that way I'm just gonna cut a little bit at a time and then place it in in the cut in the cabin and see how well that Basically, I couldn't figure out a way of mounting this cockpit that didn't involve some sort of cross brace. That piece of wood is gonna get epoxied from wall to wall and then the cockpit, the, the front part, is gonna sit on top of that and I'm gonna paint that black so that it acts as an extension of this. Um, with that setup, the cockpit seems to fit pretty, pretty okay. So you can see that the sides here a little bit overdone um, and that's on both sides but that's fine and then on the back too let's see you can see that there's a bit of a gap here so um, in order to get this to fit it just it didn't feel like it was designed to fit per se in this plane so I'm just making it fit but there's a gap here, but that's easy to, to, to fill. I think I'm just going to add um, some some plywood to this to extend it or extend this piece of the fuselage with plywood on the inside so that it comes um, and that's what the this uh, cockpit's going to sit on. To remove this, I basically grab the cockpit, push it back so that it disengages from, from that wood bulkhead and then with that I can then tilt it so that it, the the dashboard um, clears this piece so you can see those corners need to clear this and then once that's done um, I can tilt it and then basically just pull it out for this cockpit to come out it has to go all the way back so actually maybe I, I cannot fill that space and I'll have to use wooden uh, planks on the side of the fuselage and extend this a little bit I don't know I'll figure it out or possibly support it the cockpit all the way from the bottom um, but I will say that these cockpits are a pain in the ass they're extremely fragile um, as I showed in the earlier videos, mine came, it was in pieces. Um, and I've been working on fixing it piece at a time and you can see this just came unglued so I gotta figure that out. But basically you can see what the shape came out to be. 
I sort of overdid the edges, but that's I'm gonna worry about that later. So that's what it's looking like. So here's the deck or the cross member that I'm gonna add to support the cockpit, and you can see the shape of it. It's a nice trapezoid, and that is gonna go up against the gear plate and get glued like that. So to glue this stuff, I'm just going to use uh, this epoxy E00NS. Um, dries pretty fast, five minute work life, and uh, hardens over time. So this is good stuff that I've been using throughout my build. A nice bead around it. I'm going to attach it and secure it in place. Okay. So the last part of this is to glue this back plate and you can see I've applied my epoxy that's the um, the same old stuff that I use the ENS 00 and then I'm just gonna glue this to that plate I painted this with uh, Rust-Oleum uh, this guy it's a pretty good match it's a little bit off but whatever don't mind it and that's what's covering that so I'm gonna let that sit and settle and then I'll show you how this fits into the cockpit, into the cockpit area now. The whole thing epoxy, have my clamps on and we're gonna let that sit um, at least 10 to 20 minutes before it's, uh, we can play around with it. So here's what the cockpit looks after I uh, added that uh, piece of plywood and I painted it gray. And so now um, I feel like the cockpit feels much more sturdy. Obviously, you can see I have my uh, pilot. This was my gift from Skymaster. Um, and I'm grateful that they sent me that. And so, cockpit is complete. Uh, you can see how I wound up trimming it for the final fitting. So, I'm going to go install it in the jet and show you how. This all fits. So now what I'm going to do is install the entire cockpit in place and check how things fit. So before I do that though, I'm going to point out some stuff here. I added these wooden blocks um, and on the front there as well. And that's to support this piece. Um, I actually found this and wrapped up in the packaging of the kit before I threw it out but it usually comes with two slots on the front to go into that and that point but given how the cockpit's going to sit with my electron gear I had to lower the plate so that's why those uh, blocks of wood are there but basically what I'm going to do now is just uh, make sure everything sort of fits so that tray is in place. Uh, I don't think there's much that's going to be going on this tray. The batteries are going to go underneath. This is just here to support the cockpit. And I'm going to install the cockpit and then show you what that all looks like. Okay, so let's stick the cockpit in there. sits really nicely and then the cover canopy and so here's where that piece of wood that's on the canopy uh, why that makes sense because if you look in there you'll see that when I lift the cover there's a little bit of room so I measured this exactly so that based on the this bottom lip here on the canopy once the canopy is in place and the latch is applied that back piece of wood sits perfectly in there and holds the cockpit in place so I'm pretty happy with that looks pretty good and that's a wrap on the cockpit I was able to repair, finish, and paint that brace. I also installed um, the glass pane there, um, and that's just epoxied on the inside, um, and I use magnets. Um, I think I have a video of that somewhere, but 
basically just magnet on the inside, magnet on the outside, and all around. But so what we have here is the glass. Um, remember we re repaired this arch um, and I think I'm ready to glue this. So what I'm going to do is use rare earth magnets to position the glass in place. And why I like this is because you can move the glass, um, I mean carefully, and since the magnets actually aren't glued, they just, you know, have magnetic force, they'll allow the glass to move. And once you find where you like it, you glue it. So what I think I'm going to do to start is I'm going to drop some CA right here in the seam. Let that seep in there um, and sort of hold the glass in place. And once that's done, I am going to go ahead, flip the plane over and then use as E00 and S epoxy, air epoxy all around the inside. So I have uh, applied epoxy and I have used trusty air epoxy 00NS. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you can see um, I used a little bit of uh, scotch tape to uh, cover the glass so that I can prevent epoxy from getting onto the glass and this is on the outside so that way I can peel this off and hopefully I should have a nice clean line and here's where I used some CA to tack the glass in place initially um, and that's cured so I'm just gonna leave these magnets in place Okay. so it's been about 12 hours since the epoxy was uh, placed to hold the window in place or the windshield in place so I'm going to pull off the magnets and see how good the glass mounted so I'm pretty happy with the results looks pretty clean I mean there's some CA residue here but I'm not gonna worry about that otherwise though I'm pretty happy with how that all turned out Let's go see something on the inside. How does that look? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think that's gonna hold really well. So, that's it for that part.